it's been a, a difficult evening. Witten made it really, really tough tonight, but we knew it was going to be a, a real strong examination tonight from him. Yeah, the first goal is massive when you play in Witten. Um, they don't score many, but they don't concede many at the same time. And they'd set up in that 5-4-1 um, formation. We couldn't break it down. It's as simple as that. Uh, they let us have plenty of the ball second half. And we, we couldn't answer the questions that were being asked of us. So it's something uh, tactically we've probably got to look at when we're playing against teams who are going to do that because our, our strengths were negated a little bit. Um, I've said the lads, look, we don't get carried away with the wins, we don't get carried away with the losses. The lads have given us everything again out there, which is all we expect, but we just lack the, the little bit of, um, I'd say, creativity and more how within the pockets of space that we did that we did create. It, it weren't a surprise at all how, how Witten played. We, we know that they're a team who like to sit back and not even necessarily uh, get you on the break as such, but they will grind teams down. And I'd have been used to playing teams this season who really gone for the, for the jugular, really, against us. And how was it that um, changing tempo, I suppose, for the players? We knew it was coming. We knew definitely knew it was coming. We, we do our homework. Um, but they, they get that first goal, and then it, it is really difficult because they get the five, the four, even the one behind the ball at times and just let you have it and say, come and break us down. So we know we're short of a plan B in terms of a, a physical play at the top end of the pitch so we, we couldn't really just lump it in the box and hope for the best so we were trying to, to find the spaces through um, through their units but they weren't really there and when we did get it like I said we just lacked that little bit of creativity, creativity at times. Um, we, had, we had a couple of chances first half, we were generally on top uh, and, and it wasn't really the threat of that counter attack but uh, we, we second half we didn't really create anything and, and fair play to them that, like I said they've got a clear identity in the way they play and um, they won't concede many goals this season It was a game that tonight at times threatened to boil over a little <coughs> bit it was an incident right in front of the dugout in the first half between uh, Jack O'Hardaker and uh, Billy Smart uh, you will have had a close look at it than we did but it looked to us that uh, Jackals pushed um, Smart in the in the bid riff somewhere and he's gone down clutching his face, Rivaldo-esque. Um, is that pretty much what happened? Yeah, listen, I'm not going to comment on their players. I don't I don't like that. It, that happened, yeah, it was exactly how you said it, but, but I've, I haven't got time to really comment on their individual players regarding regarding what they're going to do in terms of um, fair player discipline. Yeah. Um, could they have had a penalty in the second half? We thought it was a slip in the box and yeah. for me it looked like handball, but we're miles away, we couldn't really see yeah, it's it's a slip and it's come what ricocheted up, up to his arm. It, it's harsh, I think, if they give that. I've seen him given, so <coughs> it would have been, I think, very harsh. Bailey's going to clear the ball with his foot. It's, it's bounced up and hit his arm, so it could have went out of the way with it. Um, forget forgetting the, the the penalty calls. We just we know what we, we didn't do enough at the, the top end of the pitch. There's there's nothing to blame in terms of anything with discipline or referees. We just that's what the lads didn't know. We didn't do enough at the top of the pitch, and at half time it was we really need the front four to come to the, to the fore and, and produce us something to create something, uh, including the substitutes who came on. And like I said, we couldn't find the couldn't find the answers to uh, what they were blocking at the back. It, we don't really have time to sit back on it and go, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll have a whinge about it for weeks on end and all that. We go again on Saturday, it's the FA Cup, everyone loves the Cup and we don't know the final score yet, but it looks like we're going to be going up to Marpeth on Saturday and they're a team who like to go yeah. forward, yeah. a good strong attacking unit and do you think that'll suit the Tigers more? Um, yes, but we've, on the other side of it, we've got to find a way to win different games of football. So we can't just say we're going to perform when we're the underdogs or without the ball. So it's something that we'll look at tactically week by week. And tonight, maybe the staff, we, we should have changed it slightly because we've, we've counted the, the stats on the number of counter attacks we had. We didn't have any. There was none today, so we stifled us in that, that way. So Thursday, uh, we might have a look at, well, we'll have a look at Morbeth and how they're going to play, and then we'll go from there with it. So they've done a great job tonight, we're not, not two ways about it. But um, one thing that came up in commentary tonight was that we played, well, we've seen it through the season, obviously, but um, we've been playing the wingers inside out. You've got Paddy laying out on the right hand side, we know he's our left peck. Um, is, is that something that you're going to continue with with the season, or would you be swapping it about and seeing what happens? No, we'll change it round. They can all play anywhere, so we weren't getting much joy with the wingers as they were, so we thought we'd give it a go. 
the other way around, just giving the full-backs a little bit of a different challenge. Um, the, they didn't have a lot of room to work in the wingers when they got it. They were, they were quite often doubled up on, and that was the general pattern of the game. They didn't, they didn't give us much room to to work the spaces. And like I said, they've got a clear identity with them. And if they get that first goal, you can guarantee it's going to be difficult to get back in it. And the, the chances were there before half-time because I would like to have seen how the game would have opened up if we went in all square. Um, the second half, we've got to be better in terms of um, passing the ball through the through their units. We, we we didn't work them enough, and when we did, we just forced it a little bit. Um, so disappointing to lose a game of football, but let's stay level with it. We, we didn't get carried away when we won four games in a row. We won't get carried away with one defeat, and good teams don't lose two games in a row. So that's, that's a challenge now to to go on Marpeth and pick uh, up um, the win ideally, if not the replay, stay in the competition and then it's, we know it's huge for the football club in terms of the finances as it is for every club at this level but we've been there before and we know we can really um, give ourselves a foundation to, to build the football club back up if we can have that little cup run. Finally, is it true that you learn more when you lose a game than when you win one? Um, no, not, not us, no. We, we do uh, analysis on every single game so we, I, know I wouldn't say that it's, it's, it's an easy comment to make, but I think that we, we definitely, like the lads have not got it easy over the last four wins, you know, when things have gone wrong, we showed them, because there has been elements of the games that have gone wrong, but on the other side of it, we make sure they know what the strengths look like as well. So we'll do exactly the same. Like, this is what I mean about you can get carried away with defeats or wins, where everything looks rosy, or everything looks um, like everyone's a bit go to buy a result, it's a bit picky reds up, we're going to do exactly the same. Thursday it'll be the same type of session, come in bright and breezy like you have been the last few Thursdays and we go again because um, they're, they're a good side in there and there's some good young lads and they're going, to learn, they're going to learn from us after every single game, not whether it's a win, draw or defeat, we've got to stay level with it and believe in what we're doing and continue to improve what we're doing day in day out. We're going to get, I've said before, we're going to get games like this where we don't have the answers um, and it's up to us, we're learning the staff as well. Um, should we have played slightly different today? Maybe. Uh, um, but we, we backed ourselves with the strengths that we've got, we have and what we've got. Coming here again, which, would we have tweaked it? Again, maybe. But we're all learning, we're all in this together. See you, thank you very much. Okay, cheers, no mate. Thank no you.